Hello everyone, that's here back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at Ambassady ROM version 5.0 for Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So this is full Galaxy S8 port for our older devices which is based of course on Android 7.0 with Samsung Experience version 8.1 and has uh, comes with pre-installed Badstock kernel version 1.1.2 which is the latest one. It has the latest 1st of August Android security patch. For Samsung this is uh, the latest one. So right now I'm going to Aroma Installer just uh, to show you uh, a couple of interesting things uh, over there. So right now I'm swiping over here. I've put on my flash drive into the phone. So um, the interesting things over here are that you have uh, a CSK option during the installation process. So let me just show you that. These are a couple of things that are worth mentioning. Um, so over here you decide whether you want a clean or a dirty flush. Of course uh, you have, uh, let me just focus to choose the root option, come on. Uh, whether you want it to be Magic SU or Super SU. After that you have uh, your region, your CSK and over here be sure uh, if you click this you will not have navigation bar and uh, be sure to click on always on display so, so that uh, you have it and uh, the other things are uh, self-explanatory so uh, these are uh, the things that I wanted to show you so right now I'm going uh, to go back uh, to the phone when uh, the software boots up the interesting things uh, over here when the phone booted up are that this is full stock ROM with no ROM control and no uh, any specific features there are just uh, a couple of applications that come pre-installed which are add away uh, faster GPS so add away is an ad blocker application faster GPS this uh, lets you set your region so that uh, your GPS antenna can uh, find you uh, faster and have a faster wall time uh, in uh, Snapchat for example and Google Maps the next uh, app is uh, phone info that comes uh, pre-installed which uh, basically shows you uh, your the info for your phone, uh, nothing uh, really special over here. So uh, basically this is it, uh, there are no key mapping modes. Uh, everything is uh, kept full stock, which is uh, something uh, really nice for some and uh, not uh, really nice uh, for others. Um, something I don't like over here is that you can see what of a big gap is uh, over here. So if I had a, a black wallpaper, you'd see it better, but uh, come on, take a look at this. So I'll probably search for another uh, touch with uh, APK from apkmirror.com. Next thing is that there are two new wallpapers which uh, come from uh, the Note 8. So these are the two ones. This is the first one. And uh, the second one is, uh, was uh, during the whole video. So uh, you can uh, go back and uh, take a look at it. Next thing is uh, Bixby Voice. Bixby Voice, all of those uh, things uh, connected uh, with Bixby are uh, working uh, very good. So uh, for example, uh, Bixby Vision, the Reminders applications is over here. Uh, Bixby Voice just it has this uh, resolution bug, which is uh, nothing uh, nothing new. It has been uh, here from uh, forever. Turn on Wi-Fi, so you can see that uh, it is working. So basically, uh, voice wake up isn't working, but this uh, was present uh, forever. Nothing uh, new over here. Um, something I uh, also don't like is when you swipe over here and you have a password when you type it it doesn't uh, straighten walk you have to click the ok things but uh, these are small things that uh, are not uh, really big of a deal next thing is that you have a partial uh, face on walk so when your uh, face is being uh, is being scanned it doesn't uh, straighten walk the phone but uh, it just uh, doesn't want you a password so when it scans your face uh, just this uh, thing over here is uh, getting unlocked and uh, you can swipe up and uh, then uh, you'll be graded uh, by the home screen so I think this Galaxy S6 is going to have a big problem with me for those focusing problems over here uh, another thing is uh, S power planning so uh, this is kind of here so when you uh, click on power saving, you can't see it over here. If you go to my SEC 23 version 6.2 video over here in the top right corner, you see what I'm talking about. So there is another section over here for S power saving. It's not here, 
but when I go to a quick uh, power sh to quick shortcuts, you can see that it is installed, but uh, some uh, additional permissions are not allowed for it to launch. So, for example, uh, when I just uh, unplugged my charger over here, I got a notification to forward my calls when I have little battery, and when I clicked on it, it launched properly. So basically, I can't see what's the problem with it over here. I searched for it in settings, but uh, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. So uh, you can see I got uh, no idea uh, where it is. So uh, I'll do additional search and try to make it work. And uh, then I'll leave you a feedback probably into the description of this video. So also in the description, you'll see my uh, Twitter profile. Be sure to follow me over there as well as uh, uh, the link uh, for this uh, ROM and how to download it. So um, next thing over here, let me take uh, a look at my list. Um, so basically I've covered everything. So uh, this is a smooth ROM. Of course, uh, I can't talk uh, about the battery life because uh, I have it for from a couple of hours. Everything uh, so far has been working great. It uh, is very responsive. As you can see, Samsung Health is uh, working flawlessly. Something I really like is that the phone is uh, really responsive. It is, uh, you can see that I still got uh, those things. Um, it is uh, really good. So I restarted the phone, that's why I reload it. But you can see that everything is working uh, perfectly fine. It's uh, fast and smooth. You can see that even Bixby was just uh, kept into the background. So uh, this is it for this video, guys. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, check the description for uh, for the... If you want to take a look at uh, the link uh, from uh, which you can download the ROM. And uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to uh, take a look at uh, my other videos. Uh, it's full of ROM videos and kernel videos. Thank you for watching again. Peace.